friends, and welcome to the basement. I'm with my cousin Hazel. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. And we have Kaysen with us as well. Hello there, people of the world. We also have our new friend Nephi joining us for the first time. Hello, I'm Nephi Baka, and I'm new to the neighborhood. It's so good to have another girl on the scene. Thanks, Hazel. It's good to be here. Nephi, since you're new, do you want to pick the word of the day? Yeah, you should totally pick the word. Oh, me? Well, I'm not sure what word to choose. I understand that it can be hard coming up with a word. How about you tell us a story and we can pick a word related to your story? That's a really good idea, Hazel. Okay, I can do that. So, last night I was waiting for my mother to do my hair. I wanted to make sure it looked good for school the next day. I kept asking my mom when she would do it, but she was busy bathing my brother. My mom told me to relax and be patient, and she'd do my hair once she finished getting my brother ready for bed. Nephi, I think we got our word. Oh, really? What is it? It's patience. Nice word, Nephi. Thank you. I really didn't do much. Do you think I could finish my story? I'm not quite done yet. Yeah, of course. Tell us the rest. Okay. I had decided that while I waited for my mother, I would tidy up my room. When my mother came into my room, she was surprised to see I had cleaned up. She was happy that I did it without being told. She was so happy that she gave me a treat to eat while she did my hair. That's pretty nice, Nuffy. There's nothing better than getting a treat. I agree on that for sure. I like it too. Do we know what the word patience actually means? Yeah, patience means to have the ability to reduce your restlessness, annoyance, and irritation to be calm and quiet. Great definition, Kaysen. That's spot on. Basically, it's controlling your emotions when you're not happy about something and not letting it show and waiting for when the time's right. Nephi, that was a great story about patience. Your patience paid off in the form of a treat. It sure did, and I wasn't even expecting it. Spike, do you have a story about how patience paid off for you? I think I actually do, but the payoff is a little different. Let me tell you the story. My father had promised me he would take me outside to the park. I was really excited and I got up early so we could go. But my father told me to be patient and that we would go later. I really didn't want to wait, but I didn't have much of a choice. My father wasn't ready to take me and it was raining outside. After some time, the rain stopped and the sun dried up the park. We were finally able to go. While me and my dad were walking to the park, there was this huge rainbow in the sky. It was so pretty to look at, and then I realized if I had gone to the park earlier, I would have never seen this beautiful rainbow. So in your case, patience paid off by allowing you to see something you wouldn't have if you had gone to the park when you first wanted to. Exactly. I would have loved to have seen that huge rainbow. Hazel, do you have a story about being patient? I sure do, but my outcome wasn't a good one. Oh, I want to hear this. If you listen, you will. Okay, I had this little tooth and I really wanted it to come out. That way, I could get money from the tooth fairy. My mother kept telling me to be patient and to leave my tooth alone. She said it will come out when it's ready. I couldn't help myself and I kept playing with it, trying many ways to loosen it. Eventually, I got it out, but the tooth flew out my mouth and across the room and I lost it. I looked all over for that tooth, but I couldn't find it. Did the tooth fairy still come and visit you? Nope. My mother said no tooth, no tooth fairy. That's just how she operates. That's terrible. If you had only been patient and let the tooth come out on its own, you would have never lost the tooth and the tooth fairy would have come and visited you. Exactly. I've learned my lesson for sure. Being patient has great benefits. Kaysen, have you ever been impatient? Yeah, I have, but I feel like now I've got being patient completely down. And how is that, Kaysen? Well, I got this technique I use. When I feel myself getting impatient, I do something else, like play video games, color, or play with my cars. I basically do what Nephi did, do something else, 
and leave my parents alone until they're ready for me. That's a great plan for being patient. I learned a long time ago it doesn't pay to bother your parents when they tell you to wait. It's better to be patient than to have them yell at you for bothering them. I like that. I think I'm going to try that from now on. I think patience is a virtue we should all try to have. Plus, you never know how patience can benefit your life. I agree. That was a great word of the day. All right, everybody. Say bye. Bye. Bye, bye people. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Psalms chapter 37 verses 7 through 9.